Hello guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl Kinesthetic with the Kinesthetics and I'm here with you guys today with a new vloggy vlog, period. I am back in Houston, Texas. If you guys watched my last vlog, you guys saw I went to New York for 10 days, like a whole 10 days. That is the longest amount of time that I visited New York since I moved to Houston. So it was a big thing, but to me it flew by so it wasn't as bad, but I just feel like I wasn't being as productive as I wanted to be. So now that i'm back home now that i'm back in my space i am ready to elevate those productivity levels okay we're gonna be productive af in this vlog you guys gonna see it so before we get started before we get into the fun before we get into the festivities before we get into the looks make sure you guys subscribe to my youtube channel hit that red subscribe button down below give this video a big thumbs up drop a comment down below and make sure you turn on your bell notifications because we are back to our normal well our new posting schedule tuesdays thursdays and sundays so make sure your bell notifications are on so you never miss a video period and yeah let's go ahead and get started so i'm back home i came back early this morning on the first flight back and your girl got upgraded to first class this is the first time that i've been upgraded to first class every other time that i flew first class the ticket that was purchased was first class so yeah, your girl got upgraded to first class. And I slept half the time. I ain't eat none of the food because they was giving breakfast. I'm not a breakfast person. Y'all know I don't eat dairy. I don't eat eggs. So breakfast is always like a hard meal for me. But I didn't eat anything. I didn't drink anything. I honestly just slept. And it was just so peaceful because I was also in the first row. So when it was time to get off, I was wheezy out of it okay but now that i'm back home we have a lot to get done like i don't know where to get started but we have a lot to do so let's go ahead and get into it so of course while i was going i ordered a whole bunch of things off of amazon so i'm just here unboxing everything to see if i have to make any returns when i go out and run errands so y'all can see i'm gonna do a separate amazon video to show you guys like things that i purchased recently i will update my amazon store with these items so if you guys want to grab them now you can so just make sure you check the link down below for my amazon storefront i try to update it on a weekly basis based on the things that i order and in case i forget to share my shirt is from paradox which is a black owned brand that is philly based they're like patchwork gray sweatpants but target a minute ago so i don't know if the link is still available but i will see Ooh, in my kitchen. Mm. Ah! Finally got my tripod for my new vlogging camera. So I'm definitely gonna set this up before we head out the house. Hopefully it's not hard to work it. <laughs> Ooh, my ear tags, four pack baby. Okay, nothing is getting lost again, not even me. I'm about to put an ear tag on my This is the Fenty body butter that I told you guys I ordered two vlogs ago crazy because as soon as i finished ordering mine it sold out on sephora so this is it this is the fenty skin body butter and this is the vanilla dream so let's see first impressions i feel like i'm late to the game but it's okay it's okay because i know my girls are waiting for my opinion and it's okay because i'm here to give them my opinion okay Okay, so this is the consistency. Mmm, smells very vanilla-y. I'm not gonna test it now because my hands are dirty, but in tonight's bath routine, we'll be trying her out. One thing about me is I lay down and I just order stuff. Like, I just order stuff. Yeah, I need to return one thing that I opened previously. Well, two things. So I'm gonna return those as I go out to run my errands. But, oh, I didn't even read the instructions to see how this goes. So I figured it out. It was me trying to put together this stand for my recipe book right here. I see it. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I'm going to see if I can find something better. Because that one isn't adjustable. It just stays at that level. So, yeah. But I am, oh, wait. Okay, I'm about to open my tripod for my vlogging camera. I'm excited! Because the tripod that I'm using right now is cool. It's a Ulanzi one. 
but this one allows you to click to record and do other things and adjust them. We're going to see exactly what she's hitting for. English. English. Okay, we are live on the new trapezoid. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, we are live on the new tripod. It's cool, but I feel like I have to get used to it because I'm just so used to my Ulanzi. And just for reference, this is the previous tripod that I was using. It's from Ulanzi. Still love it. Still going to use her. But I feel like this one better for... Like, on the go vlogging. I don't know how to work this thing, so... But... I'm about to get dressed real quick so we can head out and start running our errands. Outfit of the day. Hair is in this twist out that I did using my Mazzani Miracle Cream. Jacket is from Zara. I'll see if they still have it. I'll link it down below. But it's like a olive green moto biker jacket. Hoodie is from Zara. Sweater from Zara. Whole outfit is from Zara. <laughs> Bag is my YSL medium Lulu olive. It's given an olive moment and then i put on these nikes these are my silver nike spiridons i told you guys about these about a year ago they re-released these like every other year so these are probably my most comfortable sneakers to date so i put them on because i'm going to be doing a lot of running around today and i need to be comfortable so that is my outfit of the day real cute real comfy it's kind of cold outside it's like 50 degrees so i had to you know put some clothes on Put some clothes on. So let's go run these errands. Okay, first stop is UPS because y'all see this big box back here. I gotta bring it back so I can fit stuff that I buy in the trunk. So let us go. I got a spot right up front. Ain't no line inside. Usually when I usually when I come over here, the line be outside the door. I'm like, damn. Yeah, only y'all gotta return to the Amazon. All right, let's go. Joe. Tell me, why are you calling today? Help with the return. Alrighty, thank you so much for being a part of our prime family, Kendra. And how many assist you today? I'm calling because I'm trying to return an item that I ordered and the only option was for me to um, do the UPS drop off where I'm responsible for printing the label. However, I don't have access to a printer right now and I'm currently at the UPS store location. So can you change the return to be so that I could get the code and they just scan it? Alrighty, so I'm seeing that the only option available is a UPS drop off. We're not able to send the code to you. Okay, because I'm at the UPS, I don't have a printer, so I don't know how the person expects me to, re to return this item. I'm checking to see if the code is available, but it's not giving me the option to send out the code to you. It's only giving me the option to have the printed. And how much is it to print the, the label? $4. $4? $4? Well, you should always want to be nice to people but you should definitely be nice to people when you know they're going to go out of their way to help you like it goes a long way i'm just nice to everybody that i meet i don't care who you are i don't care where you work i don't care i'm nice to everybody so but um yeah they would like always either i go so i'm trying to return a bath ladder i got it's shorter than it was supposed to be it's flimsier than it was supposed to be they said my options are to go in the corner and go on the computer and it's like a dollar and fifty cents per 10 minutes or send them the label and it's four dollars baby i need all of my money back what do i look like i don't know why it's not a qr option so i call amazon because the guy's like i'm like y'all know how to make money he like yeah like what you gonna do like <laughs> so i was like i'm gonna call amazon and i'm gonna see what they could do because it's no reason why i'm a prime member and I have to pay $4 to print a label to send something back to a vendor who gave it an accurate website description. So that's what's going on right now. I'm hungry. I don't know what I'm going to eat. Y'all know me. I love me some Raisin Cane's. I love me some Kava. I'm kind of leaning towards Kava, so we're going to see. And then I want to go to Walmart, Target, and Home Goods. So, and maybe Hobby Lobby. I don't know. But I'm just going to go to several stores so you guys are going to see me go. But, um,. Yeah. They giving me four dollars to send. Yeah. They giving me four dollars on my card to print the label. So 
when in doubt, I, so the $4 was I forgot the email I just I gotta go back in there and stand in front of that man face. I just hate rude men. Like why are you so sassy? A gal that not mine. A gal. That food for that food. That food was too mother freaking good. I feel like it's. I feel like it's because I haven't ate it in a minute. But baby, all the flavors in my mouth together. We united and it feels so good. Late night creep, which I slide okay. on, bitch. We're going to Target now. At my most favorite place ever. Target. This hat is so cute. I'm going to have braids. So these are the bags that Sushi and I were looking for in Target. She got me the orange one. And I low key. The cream was like my first option, so I might get this. But the black is cute too, but I don't need both of them. So, yeah. I love Target, but sometimes they do carry with the prices. Why would I pay $180 for a cake? Like, why? Mm -hmm. So, I found a super cute nightstand in my bedroom. Nice. It says when it's in stock. I have to assemble it. Why is it here in a box? Why didn't y'all build it so I could just buy it? <laughs> I've been so obsessed with books lately. Lots of So left Target. I didn't end up getting the bags because, or either of them, because I have the orange one and also like my next luxury bag, I want it to be a cream color anyway. So to me, like looking at my closet now, I'm like, I have like cream options, but I don't have like an everyday cream option, but that's what my new luxury bag is going to be whenever that comes. Period. Putting into task atmosphere that some money hits my account real much freaking soon. But I'm going to Marshalls over here at Ross and Home Goods. So let's go ahead and hit these stores so that we can get home. I don't know what it is. Some tiredness just took over my body. I don't know if it's either some eating, but I also didn't eat much of my food because I already knew what my body was gonna do. But for some reason my body still did what I ain't wanted to do. So whatever, maybe jet lagged, I don't know. This jumbo card is so cute. Man, cute shower curtains when I'm not looking for them anymore. How sweet is it to be for you? This is so cute. The heart. These are cute for a nice day. This is cute too, but um, there's only one. This closet is cute. There's only one. I'm not getting anything I'm not sure about, so those are gonna have to stay. But I did find this. That's not good. Wrapping. Ross had freaking self checkout since what? Like, since when does Ross have self checkout? But this will kind of be a car mount situation. Let's move the car and see what happens. I just put my tripod in. Um, I'll show y'all after. Because one thing about me is I'm gonna find a way to prop up my camera. Okay, let's see if we can make it across the parking lot. 
without the camera falling because I'm I gave up on the whole mount situation a long time ago if y'all can't tell but I got that little ladder because I'm playing around with concepts in my bathroom right now so we shall see how it looks if not it's coming right back to the store that's why I had to make sure my receipt was nice and secure Ooh, the camera Jesus BRB guys <laughs> So that was a fail. <laughs> How's it going, Home Goods? Let's go. One hundred and thirty dollars for a fake plant. At this point, I might have to make my own damn real plant. Right through me, right through me. guys so I wanted to pop in here to share my first experience and my first impressions of this Fenty Skin Butter Drop in a Vanilla Dream. So I always start off by using the product on a cap because nothing goes wasted in Costa Constetic. And to me it smells vanilla-y but it's not like too overwhelming which I don't mind because with body care, I tend to layer my items, so yeah. And also, I feel like it's an option for individuals who don't like heavily scented things because I know that Fenty Beauty or Fenty Skin is gonna come with body butters. Like, this is just the beginning because they know that they got that thing on them, okay? And I do wanna say, I should have prefaced this by saying the only previous butter drop I have tried is the original. I did not try the holiday special edition limited edition but baby the glow like the glow yeah 
yeah it feels so good on the skin i don't like my first impression is that it's not as moisturizing as the original one like yes it is moisturizing but baby the original the og butter drop they put their foot in that so i feel like anything else that i'm gonna say is better than that has to meet that criteria or surpass it which is going to be hard it has um glitter in it i feel like i haven't really been seeing people speak i don't know if y'all be able to see on camera i haven't really been seeing people speak about the glitter aspect of it which is cool but i'm not a girl who always likes glitter on my body like depending on what i'm wearing or where i'm going glitter is cool to bed you know i don't care because ain't nobody seeing me in bed but yeah so first impressions i like it it's not as moisturizing as the original one but i'm gonna go ahead and continue to use this body butter throughout the duration of this vlog and i'll come back at the end and tell you guys like anything else i notice or think is worthy of noting but i will link it down below at sephora right now i believe it is sold out at sephora but by the time this video goes up there may be a restock and it's also available at fenty skins website so you guys can pick it up if you guys are interested but let me carry on with my nighttime routine good morning my loves good morning it's saturday january 21st and i woke up early because oh, whoa what's going on i woke up early because i wanted to go to the gym but my stomach is bunning me right now like maybe tmi but my stomach is bunny me so i'm not even gonna try going to anyone's gym and feeling like this put the car fully charged she has a lot of moves to make today <laughs> came in here because i bought this bin yesterday from target as you guys saw and i'm gonna put all of my christmas decor in here so i just want to take everything down just to see if i need to pick up another bin as i'm outside so let's go ahead and do that showered and got ready i'm about to pack my bag i'll show you guys my outfit in a few my phone is dead for usual like i have three phones i would not tell y'all one of them is gonna be dead one of them gonna be dead perfume just in case <laughs> i don't wake like him tonight i'm gonna make love to you for the last time baby i almost forgot before i head out i need to go check my mail I got a package, so I'll be back. It is about to pour, baby. Like, when I tell you rain is about to fall, I actually got two packages. First thing I got from Ulta Beauty. So I posted on my community tab the other day. Make sure you guys are paying attention to my community tab because I'll post any updates there that I can't get to you guys in a timely fashion. So if something is on sale or if something comes back in stock, I will post it on my community tab. So make sure you guys check that out. If you go to my YouTube page, you just click community. It's like one of the top tabs and then you will see everything there. So I try to post like on a daily basis, but yeah. So Ulta had their best skin ever event or something like that. And they had these on sale for 50% off. So these are the Estee Lauder 
um, Advanced Night Repair Serum. So I've never tried this before, but I've heard amazing things about it. And Kim tried it out and Kim was like, it's made a difference in her skin. So I said, I bet, you know, we always want our skin to get better. Like skin is skinny, but I know that the skin could skin even further. You know what I'm saying? So I went ahead and picked two of them up. You could go ahead, like during the event, you were able to get like, I think up to 10, but I didn't know how well I was gonna like it. So I was like, if I get one and I really like it, I'm gonna be tight. So let me just go ahead and get two. So this is the size of the product, just so you guys know, this is 68 fluid ounces. So it does come in bigger sizes. So if I do like it, when Sephora has their sales, I'll go ahead and get like the bigger size or when Ulta has a coupon. And then they also sent a free gift. So the free gift was like a travel size, so like a mini of that same serum. Let me just open it up so you guys can see the size of she. So this is perfect for when I'm on the go. So I'm gonna put this in my little travel pile. So that's everything I got from Ulta. That was it and that was all. I am, what's the status of my Ulta? I think I'm like platinum or something. So I get like free shipping. So I didn't have to make like any dollar value. And then I got a big, oh, package from H&M. But you guys are gonna have to wait until I do my collective trial haul. But I just wanted to, I'm gonna like go through it. So if anything doesn't fit or if anything doesn't look like it did online, if it's giving catfish, I could bring it back as I'm going to the mall. So yeah, let me do this real quick, show you guys my outfit and then we could head out. Quick OOTD, my sweater is thrifted. I got this from the Montrose Market, I think like two blocks ago, three blocks ago. So you guys could check it out and link it up above, but it was a thrifted piece. I just, it's a extra, extra large, I think. So it did fit very large on me, but I just went ahead and tucked it up in the bag. It looks stupid, but it's okay. Um, jeans are coming from ASOS. These are collusion denim. They're like a cargo denim, but I love the fit. Shoes are my Yeezy Wave Runners, okay? And then my bag is this bag from Carl Yaeto. It's like a top notch bag. This is actually my second time wearing this bag ever. But I just threw everything in, and then I just did the little top knot. It looks real cute, okay? And then accessories. My earrings are from ASOS, and then my necklace, which I have tucked in. I just put it on so I could feel like I had something on my neck. But this is my initial necklace, and I did get this from Nordstrom. So I'll have a link down below. But that is the outfit of the day. We are going to head out now, so let us roll. Hey guys, so I am at Best Buy. I didn't even tell you guys, but I forgot my MacBook charger at like in New York. And I don't have a spare one, so I'm almost done editing tomorrow's vlog, which is my New York vlog, and I can't even finish because my laptop is dead. So I'm going to get a new charger. Babes, I'm going to put the screenshot here. Why the hell is a MacBook charger $84? Like, $84 US is robbery. And it's like, what am I going to do because I need the damn charger? When I tell y'all I'm putting an air tag on her, she ain't going nowhere. She ain't. It's up in the step. It's cold outside. Lock my door. Oh, so I went in Best Buy. I'm putting stuff on people's windshields. I'm putting nothing over here. Me talking shit get caught talking shit. I got the two meter charger cable. Can you see? I think this is like the standard one, like the one I had already. And then I got the 67W power adapter. So, yeah. I don't know if this is the one that charges your laptop better or faster, whatever the case is. Tuck sheet under my seat. Now, we are going to Zara because I have to pick up an order that they honestly about to send back because it got to the store mad long ago. I had ordered some stuff from the sale. So, let us head over there I think it's like a little drive Sada. and while I'm over there I have to make a return to Walmart I hope I have the thing in my bag and then I also want to go to Oli's to see if they have my laundry pod so let us get going did you guys listen to Ice Spice it's new I don't know if it's an album or project but it's fire I honestly thought she was going to be a one hit wonder after munch but Princess Diana slaps Song she got with little TJ slaps like 
So I'm at Baybrook Mall now. Y'all know the drill. About to put my car on the charger and go into Zara. And I also have to go in Sephora because I need to exchange that lip oil I got the last time I came over here. So let's go. I haven't been in a Zara store forever, but they still have so many things in store. Okay, found out. I found all of these things in Zara to try on. I'm really excited about these pants right here. And then I also got my order, so I can try it on. Let us indulge in the toxic habits of Zara. So these are the pants in a size four. It's given. Pop was the gal. <laughs> and then the back is like kind of smush, so I think the six is gonna be better. They're cute. And they're different. They like snap in the front. And then they zip down on the sides. See, I don't see my whole cooch, but y'all get the point. This is a size six. I definitely have more room. I wish it was like a five, but it's okay. I'm gonna get them. Hey guys, so I'm leaving like the mall area now. I went to Sephora and I exchanged my Amico lip oil because I basically ended up buying the same one. And then I'm like, it don't make sense because right now I'm on some like. I just need to, I don't know. But this is the color of the one that I wanted. This is Reflection, I think it's called. No, Bliss. I think the other one is Reflection. So, y'all know me. I'll go ahead and try right now. I already have Dior lip oil on, but I'm going to just put it on top. Mm -hmm. It gives like a little pinky color to it. Okay, Ami Cole. It's nice and thick, like I like it. Oh, I don't know if I told you guys, but the chargers over here aren't working because that people nobody got their car plugged in. And like everyone who's parked at an EV spot has an EV car. So I'm heading to um the container store real quick to pick something up. Well, I when I was in Zara, I'm putting my stuff that I didn't want from the fitting room back. And this lady is like, I'm gonna just give this to you. I said, I don't work here. She's like, oh my god, but I'm like, what about my outfit? I'm gonna put a picture right here so y'all can see my full outfit. What about my outfit today gives you that I work at Zara? We all know everybody who works at Zara wear all black. And if you don't know, I guess you could tell by context who's walking into that store. But I'm like, girl, please pay it. Remember that nice stand I told you guys about yesterday? Here it is. So they have one that's assembled. So I'm gonna bring it home, see if I like it, and then go from there. Marshalls now, and I found this pad of beauty maps. I have great things about it. This one's a little musky. Try it. I have some stuff that is well organized. It's a little noisy in here today. Oh, my white hair. It just fills. One seventy five. You got it? It's okay. <laughs> Thank you. You have a good one. You too. Abrams. My mom is obsessed with Jewel Osteen. Osteen. So I might get this for her. Peaceful on purpose. Author of 10 New York Times bestsellers. as well. I didn't know that. Oh, they have so many of his books in here. Empty out the negative. They have a whole like Bible study section, devotional books. I've never seen these before. Fabuloso disinfectant wipes. 
these ingredients. Let me see what they got in here. It's too much for me. Let's, let's see if they have pods. That's what I came here for. They have these. I'll get two bags and then I'll just put them in the tub that I had. Side to go. $2.99. Fuck it. I bought so many things. Like, when I tell y'all, my truck is packed. I can't even drive on fast. Like, oh, I should have put stuff in the bin. That would have been smart. Uh-uh. <laughs> it's a little pebble in my shoe. Because I still have more stuff to go pick up. You guys are going to see everything in the upcoming mover vlog. The mover vlog should be up the week after you guys see this vlog. Like, either Tuesday or Thursday after this vlog is uploaded and um yeah so before i go pick up more stuff i'm gonna stop at lunch crafters so i don't have to be a blind bitch no more okay i'm gonna get glasses so long story short in my new york vlog i mentioned that i went and ordered glasses from lens crafters but basically i didn't have my physical prescription with me so they were not able to submit my order until i brought it back and i couldn't make it back to jersey while i was you know over there so I'm going to the lens crafters here, so let's go. First of all, I need to moisturize my lips. Okay, it's not raining as hard anymore. Oh, my Dior lip oil. This is in 001. This stuff is so freaking good. Oh. What's this beer? The black one. Oh, this is these are mine. These are my. Oh, oh, cool. This sounds cool. Yeah, these are them. Yes, 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 yes. But put this on the charger. Hey, girl. Yes, I came back to the store with the glasses. They look so. But I feel like this coat don't pop on my skin though. Well, uh, are you on YouTube? Yeah. I can you get one. Yeah. I'm like, you look at you. That's it. Take a picture of both of you. In my bio, if, if you have family, friends, you want them to be in the area, but yeah. you really don't want them to be in with you, yeah. <laughs> send them my way. Okay, that's way. Okay, so long story short, just ordered my glasses. Period. So I could cross that off my list and now. I'm gonna go to container store but there was a lens crafters like closer to me but i was just like let me just come to the one over here like something just told me come to the one over here so i came over here and the guy who helped me out his name was anthony he's from the bronx so when he saw my phone number, first of all I, I don't know if it was my phone number my accent he was away from i was like the bronx he sent me to i'm like what because i don't meet people from the bronx out here like everybody i know out here that's from the bronx or everybody i meet from the bronx is people i already knew like people i know that moved out here so he was cool the girls in the store were cool ordered my glasses i got the red pair and then i also got the clear pair but in black so it's the same two pairs that i looked at when i was in new jersey but they didn't have the black pair in store so he just used a clear one to like size me so my glasses should be here in 10 to 14 days i think i have enough contacts to last me until then and baby hmm the way that i thought that my um like my benefits card only had three or five hundred dollars on it so i'm like my total was like 860 so i'm like just take the three or five hundred dollars and i'll just pay the balance and he was like oh no it approved it for eight hundred dollars baby when i tell you i put my card in so fast i said put this in before somebody says a mistake because mm -mm, take it take it i don't really use my vision benefits because i the last time i got a new pair of glasses was like two years ago and i shared it with y'all so y'all know how long it's been your girl ordered her glasses i'm zum high because they zum cute and i don't have to touch my eyes every day to put damn contacts in and my eyes won't feel as dry so see this one of the girls so yeah i'm excited let me go get these containers and then i'm going home did you guys listen to molly Cyrus's new song flowers if you didn't listen to it listen to the lyrics like actually listen and understand the lyrics because it's a beautiful song like so beautiful whoa back that ass up okay don't need to turn this way 
Hey y'all, so I'm still outside. I'm going home now though. I'm going home now. I made too many stops. I got too many things. I spent too much goddamn money. But I just stopped at Whole Foods because I needed more. I needed more. True life, I'm addicted to these. Like, I don't even know how to open it. But let me, um, Put my gyps in so I can head home. Good morning, you guys. It is Monday, January 23rd. Okay, no one to date, so whatever. And I am back with another day of the vlog. So, yesterday I did not vlog because I was just getting my life together. When I tell y'all, I got so much done yesterday, I got so much done yesterday. I did some unpacking because I still have four boxes for. Can I not count? I still have five, four and a half boxes from New York that I still have to unpack. I have been organizing around the house, cleaning, grocery shopping. We did it all yesterday and I'm so proud of myself. And I went to the gym, first day back since I've been to New York. So I had a great productive day yesterday. I decided to use that day as like my day off of vlogging. So we back at it again today. So I'm here with another day of the vlog. So it's Monday morning and I am just getting myself together. I still, one thing I wanted to do that I didn't do, which I'm giving myself grace about because I'm like, girl, you got a lot though. So don't even beat yourself up about it. Is unpack my stuff that I brought back from New York. So I brought a lot of things from my room in New York back with me to Houston and I still haven't unpacked it. So we will get that done sometime this week. But I wanted to come in here real quick because I showed y'all my New York vlog that I found a whole bunch of these in my drawer in my desk. So I have bought these. Best Buy had a sale one time and I bought like a couple of them. But I always open Apple products incorrectly. Even the charger I got the other day, I'm like, why am I opening it like this? Like I know how to open an Apple product properly, but I just, I like to many other things. <laughs> so in case you don't know, all Apple products have like this little green, all Apple accessories have this little, I think the products do. Either way, this little green tab. So you just pull it. And then it rips the store. And you open it. I just be peeling all types of things, breaking the whole box apart, putting an extra lever. But I'm opening this charger so that I can leave it at my workstation because the one that I was using at my workstation is on my portable charger, so. Oh, this is the long one, nah. I did not know this is the long one. This is a two meter, two meter millimeter. Okay, this one's go by my bedside, BRB. Not enough for yoga tomorrow. So my plan for today is to record my collective try on haul to get work done, like work, work to go to the gym later and to laundry. <laughs> so hopefully I can get all of that done today. I'm trying not to make my to-do list too extensive because maybe when it gets too extensive, <laughs> nothing gets done, okay? But I wanted to come on here this morning because I started adding something to my iced coffee. If y'all follow me on Instagram, if y'all don't, y'all should at kinesthetic underscore. I showed y'all <laughs> when I started adding to my iced coffee and bang. So that's how y'all, that was the best iced coffee I made. I'm adding barista to my resume. Okay, so we have our glass. Yeah, I like this little angle. We have our glass. I got these glasses from Home Goods, by the way, and I got these coasters from Ross, just so you guys know. I'm gonna add my ice cubes. This ice cube holder and the trays are from Amazon. They're like these cute circle ice cubes. They're these cute circle ice cubes. For my cold brew, I'm using the Starbucks iced coffee medium roast. I like the blonde roast, but the blonde roast was gone for a minute, but she back. <laughs> so I was using this in the interim and it's almost done. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that much. It's Monday morning. <laughs> and then creamer, I'm going to add this Trader Joe's non-dairy oat creamer, brown sugar. I went to the store and bought three of these the other day because they so freaking good. Love, love, love. 
that much. And then, here's the secret ingredient. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready for the secret ingredient? Babes, this Trader Joe's Blueberry Lavender Almond Beverage. I never thought that I would like the mixture of blueberry lavender and coffee, but babes, this, I'm telling y'all, y'all have to try it. And it is non dairy so I'm gonna add. That much <laughs> and i'm taking my stirrer these are from amazon as well they are linked in my amazon store under kitchen but i'll have everything separately linked down below or individually and i'm just going to stir this greatness up baby cheers this right here is mine <laughs> it's so good if you're trying to make starbucks at home if you like 2023 Starbucks is not seeing me there, not getting my money. Yeah, Starbucks has so much sugar in it. It's literally like coffee times Kool-Aid. Like, <laughs> it's just sugary AF. So if you're like, I'm trying to get off my sugar honey iced tea for 2023, I'm trying to save money and I give Starbucks $7 every time I need a pick me up, whatever the case is. Get these, try them at home. Let me know what y'all think. So, yeah. Iced coffee is made. I'm gonna make myself something to eat and then I'm gonna start working. So I'll see you guys. I feel good. But I had a question, two things I wanted to say. One, I have a question. So I was planning my collective trial haul, which I'm about to record. And I wanna know, if items are sold out, do you guys A, prefer me not to include them because I can't purchase it if it's sold out? Because I know I'd be tight when somebody shares something and it's sold out and I'm like, damn. Or B, do you guys still want me to share it just so you guys have an idea of like where I buy things from if you guys are looking to like expand your wardrobe? Comment and let me know your thoughts on that because for this specific trial haul, I'm just gonna try on things and share things that are still in stock so that I can go ahead and put the links in the description box. Cause my last one, a lot of the things were sold out and y'all were tight and I get it, but I wanna hear from y'all. What do y'all prefer? That's number one. Number two is, guess what? Your girl is finally on TikTok. I didn't even... <coughs> Ooh. Them oats are stuck in my throat, baby. I didn't even get to share it with you guys yet because I've been so busy. But your girl is finally on TikTok. So long story short, I've been wanting to get on TikTok for a while, but my concern with TikTok was like, I'm not sitting here scrolling all day. Cause I see the, people, the way people scroll on TikTok and I'm like, this is honestly unhealthy. So I'm like, when I joined TikTok, I wanted to be a just post and dip situation. Like I'm not sitting here scrolling. I don't even know how to work the app. I just post my thing and go. So that is what I'm doing. So I'm just present there. I'm not active, I would say. Like I respond to my comments, but I'm not, looking at my feed necessarily if that makes sense maybe i'll get into it one day but right now i got too much going on for me to be sitting here scrolling on anybody's tiktok so i post my little one too and then i won two okay so make sure you guys follow me on tiktok at kinesthetic underscore it's the same handle as my instagram i'll be sharing things here first just because i'm trying to post daily so my friend akai is actually the one who finally convinced me to get on tiktok and she works with like brands and like you know she's a social media girl so she was like post three times a day between the hours of i think 6 p.m and 3 a.m so that's what i've been trying to do and honestly my videos have been doing okay for me having you know my small community over there right now so hopefully that helps if you guys have a tiktok account post three times a day between 6 p.m and 3 a.m and just post whatever you're into like post whatever you're into period so I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to record this video. I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup. I still have to unpack my makeup, so I'll be back. Yo girl, just finished recording her collective try on haul. I hope the footage came out great. I'm about to go review it now. And um, then I have to record the try on portion. So that's the most tedious part. Like putting on, taking off. Do, 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 do.
people don't really see the real behind the scenes but it's cool so i hope you guys enjoyed that video if you didn't check it out make sure y'all do i'll link it up above and down below but your girl is back to her sit down videos and i can't wait i'm still adjusting like i need to get back into the rhythm of things because i literally have not been consistent with my sit down videos since november which is crazy because december you guys know was vlogmas and i didn't post any sit down videos but that's another reason why i'm gonna start doing sit down videos during vlogmas because then i get lazy okay i get real lazy and we don't like la laziness we don't tolerate that over here we don't know who she is okay laziness or we are laziness who who she be who she be so yeah i need to get back into the rhythm of it so you know i'm a little crusty right now but we're gonna get better so that's what's going on i'm gonna go ahead and review this footage i'm gonna go ahead and chug a gallon not a gallon a bottle of water because your girl is thirsty after all of that talking and then i kind of want to record another video today so i'm gonna see you know what i could get done but um yeah productive mondays okay if you're not productive on monday when you're gonna be productive let me know let me know you gotta start off the week with the energy with the tone that you want your whole week to follow so if that's going to the gym make sure you go on monday if that is being productive that is being productive on monday if that is whatever it is make sure you get it done on monday because that sets the tone for the remainder of your week period i'm having such a productive day i'm not gonna be on i'm i'm, not, I'm going to be honest i'm not in the best of moods today but i'm getting through the day okay so i recorded the video it came out so fire like if y'all didn't watch it go watch it i'm gonna tell y'all again and again and again so i recorded the try on portion of that haul on this camera and baby the quality the quality okay i posted one tiktok already my goal i told you guys three three for the day i posted one and i have the other two in my draft so i'm good to go for today I've just been like repurposing one old video that I had in my phone from a while ago and then two of the two of the other uploads are gonna be like new videos that's like my schedule for the day or for each day if that makes sense so now I'm about to tackle this laundry room baby look at my laundry room and remember this is a no judgment zone so these are all items from my like this is crazy like what <laughs> These are all items from my try on haul that I have to put away. This is my duvet fill. I need to finish um, making my bed. Washing this is a task because it's a king size. And it, it, I just be having to flip and turn and all of that. So I'm going to go ahead and make up my bed with that. And then these are clean clothes that I wash. Oh my God, this blanket I got from Target. I'm going to put this on the end of my bed. It's going to look so freaking cute and cozy. And I just have like clothes that I have to wash down here. So I'm going to go ahead and get this laundry room together. And then I'm going to finish editing my, well, I'm giving myself an hour at home. An hour at home and then I'm going to head to the gym. That's the plan. That's the plan. We'll see. But I kind of wanted to go later because I figured it would be like packed after work hours. I don't know. We'll see. But Let's go ahead and get to work. I did not make it to the gym. I'm just tired, y'all. And I told y'all today was not my best of moves. But I'm about to try this while I cook dinner. <laughs> this is a Trader Joe sunflower seed buttercup. So instead of it having peanut butter in the middle, it has sunflower seed. So I saw these and I'm like, let me try them. Because y'all know I've been on my little one too, making my own. So this is how it looks. It comes with two of these. Okay. Let's see. Not 
bad, but it don't really taste like anything to me. Like, the almond butter is nice and sweet, nice and, you know? But this don't taste that much. I never tasted sunflower seed butter before. Mm -mm. I'm gonna eat it because I have it, but I'm not repurchasing. And then I got these. These are um, the old chocolate bars. They're dairy free, soy free, gluten free, and vegan. I had an idea that if I like these, I can use these when I do my butter cups. It comes with three individually wrapped chocolate bars. One. Mm. It comes with four. Thanks. So I'm going to take one. It's not bad. It's very thick. Hey, girl. Hey, sis. My battery is dying, but this is going to be the end of this weekly vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys made it all the way until the end, comment down below with an emoji that has green in it. Leave a battery. Leave a green heart. Leave a tree. Leave a turtle. Leave a green emoji down below so I know who my girls and boys who made it all the way until the end of this video are. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and on TikTok at Kinesthetic underscore. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll have all of the items mentioned in today's video down below in the description box. So make sure you guys check that out. And until my next video, which will be on Tuesday, I'll see you guys later. Say what I